so hey guys what is up welcome to the new dose of after effects in this video we are going to make this paper animation with the help of after effects no plugin are required so let's get started so these are the textures which i have downloaded from the google you can get them for free over the description box there is a link you can download from there let's make a new composition and drag this texture over here let's scale it a little bit something like this it would be enough now open the position of it and drag it to the left something like this now make a copy of it and open the position of it drag it to the right one like this we will do three times more like this you can see after doing this go six frames forward now select all of them and press ctrl shift d and delete these layers now select all of them right click and go to your keyframe resistance and go to sequence layers press ok now by pressing them go to here pre-compose and name it paper and choose this mobile attributes ok now to make it loop out effect what we are going to do press ctrl alt t and go to here keyframe press alt and click over it and go to here animate option and go to here property and go to here loop out this will automatically make a loop out effect you can clearly see how it works something like this it will work so now to make it more better we can add invert effect over it something like this now we will add a text over it now to make the effect let's make the duplicate of it with the ctrl d and take it up like this and choose its track mat to luma mat to make the more texture of the paper what we can do add curves to it go to the effect and present window and search for curves let's drag this to the mat layer and make the curve something like this this will be good now to animate the text let's open it go to your text open this animate option and open this position go to your add option select the selector and go to wiggly now open this range selector go to advance change this into index and now open this wiggly selector nurse change the wiggle selectors around 0.5 take the correlation into 0 Let's change its position into 1 comma 17. Now hold Alt and press over the position. And you will type here expression. After that you can see how it works. Now let's close these one. Select this paper layer and make a duplicate of it. Select it. And rename it into map. Let's close it. And select our text layer. And add a displacement map over it go to here and select it into map and source into effect and mask and change this value into 40 and this one also so you can see that how this regal effect has been came to get rid of it go to here and type curves and apply curves over the map layer change the curve to something like this you can see how it's moving Now add the roughen edges over it, change the border into 4, sharpness into 10, scale into 40 and this complexity into 10. You can be totally free and you can play around the values. Now press Alt and open this evolution. Type here expression. Now we will add some highlights. Take this paper and make a duplicate of it set it upwards and change its blending mode to multiply duplicate it again let's name it into highlight let's add extract effect over it change its blending mode over the screen and drag this something like this and select the black softness into 18 now go to the project window and add this paper textures now press alt ctrl shift h to make them scale in the frame now we will do the same part which we had done earlier in the making the paper go six frames forward and now change the blending mode to lighten now let's close this one make it smooth to multiply and let's add invert over it now let's make a adjustment there 
and add exposure over it let's change its value to minus 0 0.2 and press alt and press over exposure now select the expression over here posterize prime 6 and press enter wiggle 30 comma 01 now go to here and let's add green over it change its review into final output and from here choose the preset into codec vision 320d and over here go to the color and open this monochromatic to make it more realistic let's add brightness change the brightness over 4 and contrast over 10 to make more different look what you can do go to effect and preset and go and search for invert take it and press it over adjustment here and this will look something like this so our animation is ready hope you liked it meet you in the next video bye